Good morning and welcome to your summer Intro to Art 110 class. Uh, my name is Bill Hayner. I will be your intrepid instructor for this summer. Um, I um, will certainly do my best to make it uh, an interesting and exciting experience and maybe even a little bit of fun for us all. Um, I want to thank you for signing up for the class. I think it takes a little bit of courage and um, uh, a very optimistic attitude to, you know, um, just uh, put your foot in the water and decide, okay, I'm going to take a class and get three units uh, uh, behind me here in the summer of this great um, pandemic that we're all trying to struggle through. Uh, I think one advantage, of course, to uh, learning something new and expanding your mind and your experience is that it can um, relieve you of some of the anxiety, you know, that we're all experiencing. Uh, I do want to say that my thoughts and prayers go out to uh, everyone who is struggling with this. If you have family members or friends or loved ones, uh, certainly um, uh, they're in our thoughts. Uh, my name is Bill Hayner. I um, will take a few minutes to talk about myself, if you don't mind. Uh, I have to confess, I'm a native Texan, um, and uh, uh, due to that fact, you may occasionally hear a little twang coming out of my out of my voice. I try to remind people it is not a southern accent; it is a West Texas drawl, y'all. So, uh, but nevertheless, <laughs> I um, came uh, out to California from Texas in the 1980s to uh, go to school at uh, Cal State Long Beach. Uh, and uh, that is uh, where I received my MFA, my Master of Fine Arts degree in drawing and painting uh, back in the late 80s. Uh, but one thing I do like to warn my students about a little bit is that uh, uh, being that I am a native Texan, I'm a teacher, I'm an artist, and I'm also a Leo, uh, born in the middle of the summer, um, and the fact is that when you combine all those things into one person, you often get someone who loves to talk about themselves. And I confess, I probably do. Uh, but I will try to control it as much as I can. Um, however, I will tell you a little bit about myself here at the uh, outset, because I think it's good for students to know a little bit about their teachers. Um, as I said, I moved out here from Texas uh, in the 80s. Um, after uh, finishing my bachelor's degree at the University of Texas in Arlington, which used to be a little college town. Now it is the mega center of Texas professional sports because not only the uh, baseball team, um, the Texas Rangers play there, but also the Dallas Cowboys. I would never dream back when I was a beginning student at what used to be Arlington State College that uh, that would someday be the case. But anyhow, uh, I spent a few years traveling after I uh, got my bachelor's degree, uh, spent a little time in New York. I uh, went up there with the hopes of being discovered as the, you know, the next Picasso or something. Um, didn't quite happen, uh, but I gave it my best shot. It was a very interesting and wonderful experience in many ways. Um, other than a couple of things, I did realize that... Um, uh, for one thing, the weather wasn't suitable to a southern boy like me. Just weren't enough really warm days. And uh, secondly, uh, the shocking thing was uh, that I discovered that I could not find decent Mexican food anywhere in New York. It was, uh, I'm telling you, it's shocking. If any of you have been to New York anytime recently and discovered at least decent Mexican food, please let me know. I would be excited to hear that. Um, it was really, it was very strange for me because, I mean, uh, at that time you could find almost any kind of uh, exotic food that you wanted. I mean, French food or Yugoslavian food, it used to be a country, I think, uh, but you could not find decent Mexican food. The, the, the thing I tell people is I would go into a Mexican food restaurant, so-called in New York City, and ask if they had cilantro, and they thought it was an island off the coast of Italy. I swear, that's what they thought. Um, and, um, so, um, I, I discovered, okay, it's just not the place for me. So, uh, I decided to try, um, what we called in Texas, the left coast. New York was the right coast and California is the left coast. So I came out here and uh, immediately fell in love with the place. Um, there was, um, you know, plenty of decent Mexican food to be had and a lot of warm days. And, um, uh, it was, uh, 
it was really um, an immediate uh, uh, decision on my part to move to California. I was fortunate enough to get into the graduate program at Long Beach State. Um, finished there in the 80s, started teaching here at Fullerton College in 1988 and have been here ever since. So I'm a, a very fortunate person to uh, you know, get to spend so much of my life doing uh, things that I love to do. Okay, so that's enough about me for now. Um, I uh, would like for us to go ahead and talk about the course some now. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the syllabus. Now, hopefully, uh, at this point, you've already uh, looked over the syllabus. Um, and uh, if you read uh, the um, information I provided for you on the uh, uh, announcements page, um, you have some idea of how we plan to proceed each day. So, uh, and ju so just to remind you, uh, each day after you check in in the mornings, um, and I will send you an e. Uh, you, I uh, hopefully you received, and most of you did receive. I think everyone did uh, receive an email this morning as a reminder of how to sign in. Uh, so every morning after signing in, uh, please immediately go to the announcements page. Um, for the day, and you'll uh, get uh, an update on where we're headed and what we're going to be doing. Um, as in the case this morning, uh, that is where you found the, uh, the syllabus for the class. Uh, and then from that point, as um, already mentioned, you will immediately go to the, uh, over the, the modules by clicking on that modules button uh, on the uh, uh, sidebar of uh, your home page. Um, You'll go to the modules and immediately go to the, the overview page um, where we are now, obviously. And uh, that's where you'll find my lectures. Um, uh, I will be videotaping them in advance. Um, and then following that, you'll go to the discussions page where we get to talk about uh, the information I provided for you on that day. Uh, that'll be a good place, you know, to ask questions uh, uh, about the lecture. Um, I know there's always a question about uh, what kind of things need to be in your notes, and uh, I'll try to be as clear about that as possible. I um, um, try to remember to um, uh, not um, uh, be unclear about what I expect you to have in your notes. I'll try to uh, let you know, in fact, from time to time. I'll, I'll uh, try to remember to say that now this should be in your notes. Uh, but certainly there'll be terms that you'll be learning um, that you'll want to have in, in your notes, and I'll be very clear about that. In fact, we'll keep them in a numerical order. So what I advise about your note-taking is that you have two sections in your notes. Uh, one would be uh, the section with your main body of notes uh, from the lecture, and then a second section will be your word list. And then uh, that's, that's the way you will we'll proceed um, uh, together through the lectures. And then, um, as, as I was saying, after the lecture, uh, if you would uh, immediately go to the discussion page, that's where you can ask questions and we have some interaction uh, there. Uh, there will be um, a, a short um, uh, classroom assignment each day. Uh, when we're done with the discussion page, then uh, you'll want to go to the assignments page uh, again, these are all on the module for the day. Um, and on that assignment uh, page, you'll see the daily assignment. Um, I'll make that page available for you when, the, uh, when we get to that point during the day, um, as I'm doing today. So in fact, that assignments page is not available right at this moment. You have to finish um, um, you know, the, the lecture and the discussion. Um, so I, I will uh, allot time for those things before we go to the assignments page. In any case, each day you'll have a short assignment uh, on that page, um, and uh, you'll need to turn it in uh, on a daily basis. And then uh, once you're uh, finished with that assignment, um, you'll go to the last page, which uh, just gives you basic information about um, uh, the following day. Um, now, there is a textbook that you need to get. Uh, it's listed on the syllabus. It's called Art Forms. Uh, the ninth edition is the one that we use, and I choose that one for a couple of reasons. Um, 
Uh, for one, it's a really good edition. There have been several newer editions since then. I think the most current one is at least the 11th or maybe the 12th edition. Uh, but the 9th edition uh, has the same basic information. They, a lot of these textbook companies, they renew a textbook every couple of years and they, you know, add, uh, move things around a little bit, maybe add a, a, a change out a few photos and what have you. But the information quite often stays the same. And that's true of, of this uh, ninth edition. And the other advantage is it's a lot cheaper. You can get the ninth edition uh, you know, pretty easily, very cheaply. If you're going to Amazon or other sources, you can order it, um, but you, or you can find it in the textbook, uh, in the uh, student store, uh, provided they're open. <laughs> and I apologize, I'm not 100% sure about uh, the, um, their policy right now. Uh, I, I will find out for you. But you do need to get that uh, textbook as soon as possible, the Art Forms 9th edition, because we will be using it every day and be going to it. Okay, so let's go directly to the syllabus for a moment. Um, I'll go over it with you uh, right now, but of course you do have it to look at if you want to go back uh, to see it there on that uh, announcements page uh, for today. Um, at the top, it gives you the basic information, my contact information. Uh, now, you'll see that my email address is up there. It's my Fullerton College email address, but there is uh, an email um, system uh, embedded in this Canvas program, and that's what we'll be using to, um, uh, uh, to communicate uh, back and forth with, okay, rather than my uh, school email, because that will, if you use that, that will not come directly to me um, uh, while we're in class. So we will be emailing with that, uh, that one that's embedded in Canvas. You, you'll see the icon for it uh, on that uh, sidebar on the left of your homepage where you found modules and you'll see other things uh, that you'll need there. Um, our class goes from 8 a.m. to 10.50 a.m. Uh, we'll have a break about every hour or so um, and uh, um, finish up each day uh, on time uh, as much as possible. Um, the uh, syllabus starts with uh, a course description. It simply says that this course provides an introduction to art from prehistoric times to the present. While examining the role that the visual arts have played in the development of the world's cultures, the student is exposed to a wide variety of artistic media. Um, so we'll be talking about different um, forms of art, obviously, um, uh, different cultures and uh, so forth. Uh, the set of course objectives, I would like to come back to that a little later uh, in a second part to this morning's lecture. Um, the next thing mentioned is uh, student learning outcomes. Uh, simply says that when you complete the course, you'll be able to do these things. Number one says distinguish between representational, abstract, and non-representational art. Uh, don't worry if you don't really understand exactly what that means right now. All those are terms that we'll be dealing with and uh, defining a little later on. Uh, but the uh, second one says you'll be able to identify formal elements in a work of art. And again, we'll be discussing the importance of that. And then you'll be able to identify certain styles or subject matter of selected masterpieces. But then it does mention the textbook, which we've talked about a little bit already, Art Forms, the ninth edition. Uh, the grading policy, pretty straightforward. Uh, uh, we'll have one regular exam, uh, and that'll be worth 100 points. And then we'll have a final exam on the last day of class, which for some reason is on a Monday, which is kind of funny to me. I'm not sure why it worked out that way for a Monday through Thursday class, but in any case, maybe that works out well because you'll have a weekend uh, to prepare for that. Um, each of those, the regular exam and final exam, are worth 100 points each. You will have one major written uh, report that's worth 100 points, and then uh, uh, the cl your classroom participation grade is uh, worth 100 points for a total of 400. And then uh, if you do the math, you can see how it breaks down the typical A, B, C, D, and, and other unmentionable grade. Under the category of other, it says attendance and classroom participation is mandatory in order to take notes from the lectures and take part in our group discussions. Um, gives you a little heads up about the paper. Um, you'll, you're going to 
uh, be visiting a major art museum online, not in person, but online. Hopefully someday you'll be able to actually physically go to that place. Uh, but you'll be visiting it online and you'll be writing a, a paper and you'll be getting all the uh, specific guidelines for that when we get close to that time. Uh, you're allowed a 10 minute break for each hour of class time. Um, we, uh, so we're going to, um, you know, uh, just stick to that, uh, just as if we were in class, uh, in a physical classroom together. Uh, you will be allowed one makeup exam, so that would be the first test. If you, for some reason, cannot take that first uh, test and you have to miss it, you can make it up. You cannot make up the final. Uh, extra credit is available, but only as specified by me. I have several uh, specific things uh, that you can do to make extra credit if you'd like to do that. Uh, please remember, if you decide to drop the course, the wisest thing is, is to do it yourself, not just leave it up to your instructor, um, because we're human, and sometimes we overlook things, and you don't want to end up with a grade you don't deserve at the end of the class. So if you need to drop the, the course, please do so. Uh, this class will be conducted in compliance with the honesty policy described in the Fullerton College Catalog. Please raise your hand if you're a dishonest person. Raise your hand right now if you are a dishonest person. Okay, I don't see any hands up, so I'll assume everybody here is honest, so that's good. It means don't cheat. Uh, Fullerton College is committed to providing educational accommodations for students with disabilities upon the timely request by the student to the instructor. Verification of the disability must also be provided. Uh, DSS, our Disability Support Services, functions as a resource for students and faculty in the determination and provision of accommodations. So certainly let me know if you have certain uh, 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 extra needs. The materials that you need are pretty simple. You need uh, the textbook, a pencil or a pen to take notes, and some kind of notebook for note taking. As I described earlier, uh, what, I, um, what you want to do is have two sections in your notes, one the, for the main body of your notes and the other um, for uh, <clears throat> your word list. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, the next section on the syllabus just has some suggested reading. There are times that I get students who just want to go far beyond uh, what's required. And uh, if you're interested uh, in some of these uh, books for extra reading, uh, they're wonderful. And you could get a little extra credit if you decide to delve into one of those. On that list, the one that I think is maybe the most accessible to the wider or the widest uh, um, a group of people is the one called The Power of Myth by Joseph Campbell. Joseph Campbell was an amazing man and was a wonderful writer and very um, had a, a strong passion for uh, the world of myth and um, studied various uh, myth sy sy belief systems around the world and and wove them together in this incredible book, The Power of Myth. And of course, if you're talking about myth and mythological systems throughout history, art is always a big part of that. Okay, we've already rifled through the two, first two pages of the syllabus. The last page just has kind of a, a rough uh, breakdown of the weekly schedule. Uh, the first few weeks we're gonna be spending on the first four chapters of the book, which deals with art concepts, um, form and content. We'll be talking about what that means. Uh, visual elements and principles of design, and we'll, that will be followed by uh, the test. And then we'll move on to the uh, written project and uh, simultaneously jump to the section of the book called Art as Cultural Heritage, which is a fancy way of saying art history, and uh, delve into a little bit of art history. And then our final exam will be on that Monday, July the 13th. Hopefully that'll be a lucky number for you. And um, you'll, you'll do just gangbusters on that. Um, other things about the class, um, I think that um, uh, one great thing about this summer uh, system and the way the class is organized is that uh, it allows us to get into a kind of routine uh, since it's, you know, four days a week um, for about five weeks. Uh, I think it's five weeks in one day. Um, and so um, that's, that's kind of helpful to, to have a system that you get comfortable with and, and uh, as we work our way through it and get to know one another, um, uh, hopefully it uh, will uh, not be too much of a strain and uh, a great way to start your day. So uh, now my lectures will vary in length. Um, 
I, I like breaking them up. Uh, so uh, it may be that uh, you'll find uh, three short videos or, th or th three uh, well, semi-short. Uh, this one's running about 20 minutes or so, or a little bit more. Um, but um, uh, I'm th th a lot of what I'm doing is nude for me as well. Uh, I have taught uh, uh, this uh, intro to art class for many years. Uh, I love teaching it. Um, and um, it continues to be very gratif gratifying for me. Um, but I still am experimenting a little bit with, you know, what's the best approach um, teaching it online. So I'm, I'm thinking one thing I might do is rather than make, uh, create one long um, lecture, uh, I may break it up. You may find when you go to the, um, this overview page of the module, the daily module to uh, watch the video, you may see two or three um, videos uh, that are my lectures. And so uh, you can um, look at that as an opportunity to go grab a bag of popcorn or, you know, make a cup of coffee or something uh, of that nature. But you still have to, we still need to flow through the class in a timely way so that we can, for example, all be on the discussion page at pretty much the same time. And I also want to leave you enough time to do that daily assignment, uh, which, uh, as I said, will be, you know, a short uh, written uh, assignment each day. Um, the first one, I think the requirement is 100 to 200 pages. So that's about a half, half to full page or so. Uh, that you'll find for today. Uh, so um, that's my introduction to the class. Uh, thank you once again for signing up for the class and for being here. Um, I look forward to trying to get to know each and every one of you the best I can in this long distance uh, way that we are communicating these days. Um, and uh, let's let's move on. So uh, that's, that's the end of the uh, uh, video this morning. Uh, please... Um, Try to get that textbook as fast as you can. Um, tomorrow, uh, on uh, Tuesday, we will uh, start talking about um, things in the first, uh, the first two chapters of the textbook. Now, one last thing um, that uh, I am going to do is to talk about how I... Um, I think it's the best way to read the textbook. It's uh, a, a scanning um, process that I um, uh, suggest that you use. But I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'm actually going to talk about that on tomorrow's uh, lecture, okay? So uh, having said that, uh, welcome again. Thanks a bunch for being here. And let's now move on to uh, the next uh, page of the module. Okay, take care. And I'll talk to you in a little bit. <laughs>